The International Terminal here at SFO has always been a place where families are reunited after traveling long distances, but these reunions today were extra special for many families, apart for two years because of pandemic restrictions. There might not be anything quite as heartwarming as seeing a loved one after a long time apart. For many families at the SFO International arrival gates, those timeless embraces were halted for two years due to travel restrictions triggered by COVID. Today, those international travel bans were lifted. The result, a day full of powerful reunions. Today, Luisa Amaya saw her nieces from El Salvador for the first time since 2019 and the first time since she was diagnosed with cancer. My mom was going through a cancer treatment, so we couldn't risk to travel or to bring them because of COVID and everything. So we're super excited to have them for the holidays. And for this family, grandma and grandpa are finally able to travel from San Salvador and see their grandchildren for just the second time in the children's young lives. It's been two years. Um, what's it been like being apart for this long because of the travel restrictions? <laughs> it's hard, yeah. She came for two weeks only. Yeah, but we're happy just to see. Every reunion different and special in its own way. For Lenora Kunz, the lifted travel restrictions mean she's actually able to hug her boyfriend from Holland for the first time since 2019. Two years, yes. How have you been communicating? I'm um, on uh, face, uh, FaceTime and talk on the phone a lot. I can imagine you're going to get pretty emotional here in a couple <laughs> minutes when he arrives. A lot of emotion in the international terminal and a lot more to come as Bay Area families welcome the end of a ban and the return of families separated for too long by a global pandemic. In San Francisco, Tom Jensen, NBC Bay Area News.